<laughs> Hi guys, it's Ro and today I'm going to be talking about Talon by Julie Kagawa. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it four and a half stars out of five. Really liked it. This is the first book in a series. This is a book about dragons and normally I'm not too keen on dragons but I actually really enjoyed this book. It was really fun and um, I cracked up a lot in it so I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to be picking up the next book in the series so hopefully I can read that later this month. So I've read Julie's Iron Face series. I've read three of the books in the series. I still need to read The Iron Knight and I should probably pick that up soon actually. But yeah, I've really liked that series. I love her characters. I really like how they're all really different and very unique and that's definitely something I took away from this book. However, this is very different to The Iron Face series. It really got me in a summery mood and I really wish it was summer right now. It was a very unique storyline. I haven't really read anything like it before. Um, which is always refreshing and I flew through it I read it in about a day so you can tell that I really enjoyed this book it hasn't been one of my favorites this year but it was definitely a fun read it was good because the last book I read recently um, was very dark and it was really quite depressing so this book did a good job at lifting my spirits back up again because it was really light-hearted and humorous so if you guys like those sort of books you should definitely pick this one up. This book is about dragons. Basically these dragons have survived for many years but have been hunted down by the Order of St. George. And the Order of St. George is like a dragon slayer society. And most of the dragons around the world have been trained to infiltrate human society by hiding in human form. And the dragons come from a group called Talon. They're ruthless and they're cunning and they're very sly. So they've been doing all this crazy random stuff for thousands of years and they sort of want to take over the world. So the book follows Ember and Dante who are twins which is really rare in dragon kind so that already segregates them from the rest of all the other dragons in the society. So they are sent to Crescent Beach to act as normal human beings and gather information about how they can take down humans. So they're forced to live secret lives and have one more summer of freedom However, Ember is getting rather comfortable in the teen life and being a human and she sort of doesn't want to leave Crescent Beach and leave all the friends that she has made. A rogue dragon enters Ember's life and questions everything she knows about Talon and everything they do. But at the same time, they are also being hunted by the Order. So Garrett is another character in this book who is a soldier from the Order of St. George. He has basically trained all of his life to take down dragons and kill them in order to save the human race. So he is sent on a mission to take down the hatchlings, which are like the young dragons. But Garrett has to be certain it is a dragon before he can kill it because there are many risks involved with tracking down the sleepers which are the dragons who are hiding in human form and he has suspicions about Ember but he doesn't know for sure that she is a dragon. Garrett basically wiggles his way into Ember's group of friends and he starts to get close to Ember in order to seek out information but their relationship evolves and he too starts to question all he has ever known. They are both forced to make sacrifices and their loyalty to their own organisations is questioned at every Return. I enjoyed the characters in this book. I found them very relatable and I had a few giggles and I can't wait to read Rogue which is the sequel to this. I have a feeling it's going to be very adventurous and really action packed so I'm super pumped to read the next one. So now I'm going to go into the spoilery section so if you haven't read this book leave now and you can come back later to discuss the book with us down in the comments. I really liked Ember. I thought she was very funny and she was smart even if she was a bit naive. I really enjoyed her and Dante's relationship at the start and I was so sad when it started to disintegrate. Now that Dante has been sent to go after Ember I wonder how their relationship is going to turn out and what direction it is going to go because it will probably take a turn for the worst. I still like Dante and I thought it was unfair how much of a burden Ember was for Dante. He basically lied for her all the time and she never appreciated it and yeah he was slightly annoying but I feel like he did so much for her and 
in the end, he couldn't leave Talon. I sort of pitied him in a way. I did not expect Ember to become a viper. Why was she picked to do that job? I totally wouldn't have thought that she would have fit into that category. Everyone seems to have an interest in her. And why was she prioritized more than Dante? I thought it was strange how Garrett was only informed about her presence in Crescent Beach and not Dante's. So everyone is really intrigued about the twins and I wonder why they were the only brother and sister born from the same mother at the same time. And hopefully we can explore that in the next book. I really liked um, Garrett and Ember. I thought they were really cute and they had a very fluffy relationship even though most of it was very, very cheesy. I really enjoyed Riley's character as well. What is going on between him and Ember? Is there some sort of bond going on? There's all these bonds in these books that keep interfering with other characters' relationships. So even though I really like Garrett and Ember, I'm sort of rooting for Riley. Does anyone else feel that way? I don't really know. I feel like that might be a bit of an unpopular opinion. And I enjoyed Lexi as well. I thought she was really funny. And their talk about all the boys in the book always had me cracking up. I really hope we get to meet more hatchlings. Hopefully they could form a little hatchling gang. And I'm interested to know how Dante is gonna go about getting Ember to trust him again and I really don't know how she's going to respond to him coming back because I have a feeling he's going to try and feel all guilty and pretend he ran away from Talon and that he decided to join up with her again and that's going to cause a lot of drama and conflict in the next book. I have a feeling that's how it's going to turn out. So yeah, overall I really enjoyed this book. It was a great entertaining read with a unique plot and storyline and fun characters. So I do recommend this book and I will finish off the series. If you guys like this review, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Sorry if my voice sounded weird today. I have a really bad cold and it sucks because I'm on holiday and every time I'm on holiday I always get sick. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. So basically this book follows Kestrel who is the general's daughter in this empire called Valoria.